Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at the new Fall 2011 dashboard update for the Xbox 360. So we're waiting for the dashboard to come up, and I'm actually using my brother's Xbox, so my gamer tag is Big Z. if you want to friend me or send me a friend request or message me, but here you'll see MSTAR11. So you can see the dashboard update, and across the top we have some options, and the dashboard itself looks very much like Windows Phone 7. So they're bringing across what they call the Metro UI from the Windows Phone 7 devices over to Xbox and later in 2012 to Windows 8. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard itself. So here we have the option to play the game we're looking at. We can do quick play down here. We can also look at some advertisements for new features and things like that. We also have cloud servers or cloud saves and I'll talk more about that in a moment, but let's go ahead and look at the menu items across the top. So here we have Bing, and in this we can search for all sorts of things. If you have a Connect, you actually have the option to speak what you're searching for, and you can look further into uh, games and applications or apps, and we'll look at those also after. But let's go ahead and search for something. So here we have a search, and we can search for Mad Men here. And here you can see it search for Mad Men. So here you can see it brought up Mad Men. And Mad Men searches across different things such as the Netflix app and the Hulu Plus app. And it will bring up where you can actually view this. You can also purchase it from the Zune Marketplace. So here you can see the different seasons. So let's go to season two. That's what I've been watching. And here you can see different types or different episodes rather. And let's go into an episode and it shows where you can purchase it or where you can watch it. So we have the option to watch it on Netflix or purchase it in the Zune Marketplace. Let's go back. And you can do that with just about any TV show and it will give you all sorts of information that you're looking for. You can search for games and as well as music as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the home screen. On the home screen, we can play the game like we could before. Uh, and we also have cloud saves. And what cloud saves is, is Microsoft is now allowing you to save up to 512 megabytes of all of your game saves up to their cloud storage. And this helps you migrate to a new Xbox, or also it lets you move from one Xbox to the other when it uses roaming profiles. Roaming profiles is something that Microsoft's been using for years in business applications to allow you to use multiple computers at once. So this allows you to use different Xboxes, just go over to a friend's house, use a roaming profile, and you can use your gamer tag there. So at the top we have social, and social is what you would expect. We have Twitter and Facebook. So let's go into, actually let's back out, let's go over to our social apps. And Microsoft is calling everything apps from now on. So here we have Video Connect, so if you have a Connect, we can go in and video chat with that like we could before. We also have Facebook and Twitter. Across the top, let's go over to the video hub. And in the video hub, again, you'll see my video apps. And Microsoft is adding a bunch of apps. And in fact, they've actually got over 80 partners where they're going to be allowing you to use anything from Fios to HBO Go to view the latest content from those providers. So hopefully we'll have cable TV on our Xbox someday. But as of right now, we don't. The game hub provides you with your games along with the game marketplace like we had before. And it's all organized similarly. As you can see, we have across the top, we have picks, featured, games, add-ons, extras, and demos. And the one I use the most is demos, and you can see the latest demos. And on most of these, there's an advertisement, as you can see in the lower right. And they give you a little more content as to what's coming up or what has just come into the marketplace. Let's go back to the music hub here. So here we're in the Music Hub, and in the Music Hub we have My Music Apps, and under My Music Apps we actually have a couple different apps, or we have the option for music on your hard drive, but we can add apps such as Last.fm uh, that we can get from the App Store, and I'll show you that in a moment. If you have a Zune Pass, you can listen to any of your music from the Zune Pass here as well. Under Apps, you can see Netflix, Hulu Plus, ESPN, Epics, 
Last FM and Fun Labs, and there's actually an app marketplace, and it shows some of the upcoming apps as long as what you can, as well as what you can get right now. So, like I said, we had Last FM. If you have a Last FM account, you can go ahead and use that here now. We also have Social, which that really hasn't changed very much, but what we do have is coming soon. So we have YouTube and UFC, Sci-Fi, and we also have some other things from Verizon, like I mentioned before. We also have our settings like you would expect. One of the things Microsoft has added with this version of the dashboard update is beacons. And we can go to beacons by hitting the center button and we can go to beacons and activity. And what a beacon does is let others know that you want to play a game online. So it looks at the last five things you've done. And if we go to the left here, we can set a beacon. We can choose Forza Motorsport 4 and let people know that we want to play this game. So we can share to social networks such as Facebook and Twitter and let anybody know that you're online and want to play Forza. So what it will do is send them out to those social networks and when someone responds to it or jumps online it will notify you that they're online and they're playing that game. So it's a nice little update they've added to the dashboard. They've added quite a few other things and they've also added an iOS and Windows Phone 7 app to interact with Xbox Live. So we'll take a look at those in a later video, but that's a, basically a general overview of the new dashboard. They've made live tiles just like they did on Windows Phone 7 and they're doing on Windows 8. So as always, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see, please go ahead and place it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.